Man, finally! Shout out Charles Barkley, man, for saying this. And it ain't nothing but facts. Alright, let's get into it. We gotta be serious on this show sometime. You know, man, this, this situation for you young kids out there, man, guns, especially in the black community, the way we killing each other is just really unfortunate and sad. And we got the, it, it's always been a problem, but it seems like it's gotten worse in the last few years, black, black on black crime and the way we've been killing each other. But to have one of our brightest stars have three gun incidents in a, like one gun incident is too many. Three is way over the limit. I want to applaud the Memphis Grizzlies for handling it the way they have. I hope the kid grows up and mature and get better people around him. Uh, I think one of the reasons Adam Silver has been quiet, I think the Grizz is like, hey, he's out. He's going to be out at least four more games. We just can't pat him on the wrist and throw him back out there. So I think Coach Jenkins and the Grizzlies have did a fabulous job. But it's time for John Morant to grow up. Next year, he's in the process his new deal kicks in. It's going to make it worth five years, $231 million. Man, you can't screw this up. You're one of the best basketball players we got in this league. You're the face of our, one of the new faces of our league. Everybody love the way you play. And you're out here acting like a damn fool and idiot. And it's not all on him, the people around him. Because he's 23. We're all stupid at 23. I mean, I ain't going to get on hand like I didn't do stupid stuff when I was 23. But you have to surround yourself. Man, being famous ain't easy. Especially now. With, every, with all these video cameras and every fool got an opinion on TV now. And everybody got a Twitter account to cut you up. You got to really surround yourself with adults, man. And I feel bad about this situation because I don't know the kid. But to put himself, and now he's screwing the team, Ernie. When you're the best player on the team, when you get suspended, like, it hurts the whole team. So not only he let himself down, I love the way he apologized to his family and his teammates in the city of Memphis and the coaching staff. But, man, there's no need. If you, if you need a gun on you all the time, you hang, you're going to the wrong places. And I'm a gun guy. I don't ever touch my gun unless I'm going to practice, but I ain't never just carrying it around to show people. And like I said, I'm not one of those guys who's anti-gun, but if you're gonna have a gun, you have to be really, really responsible with it. The uh, 